overview of how the program works. Let's start out by creating a new image. Let's give it a transparent background. The key feature of Seashore is layers, which are independent drawing canvases. A new image starts out with a single layer called background, and it's since it's transparent, it shows as a track reward. Let's select an area using the selection tool, change the color to red, and then fill that in. Let's add another layer. And then we'll use the elliptical tool, make that green, fill it in. And then we'll add one more layer. Use the polygon line tool, make a triangle, and we'll fill that in with blue. And then we're going to turn off all selections. Now we have an image with three layers. And you'll notice as I move the blue layer around, the size of the layer is shown, the boundaries, and it's much larger than the layer is the content. So we can shrink the layer down to the content. By default, all layers start out as the size of the canvas. Let's shrink the green layer as well and the red layer. Now you'll notice as I move them around, they maintain their order. So we'll move the green here and we'll move. I can actually change the ordering of the layers in multiple ways. The easiest is just to go to the layer pane and drag the layer. Now the red layer is on top. I could also then change the name to top if I want. The other key thing about layers is that the drawing is independent. So since I have the red layer selected, I grab the draw tool and change the color to black. We're going to change our Brush, that one's fine. As we draw, it only affects the selected layer. Similarly, if I go to the green layer and I start drawing, it only affects the green layer. If I move the red layer out of the way, you'll see that it actually drew in the green layer. I couldn't see it because it was obscured by the red layer. The other key thing to keep in mind about layers is that if you save the file and you use the Seashore GIMP image format, it will retain the layer information. If you use the other formats like TIFF or JPEG, you're going to lose the layer information, which is fine if you wish to share the image with others and you're done editing it. Almost always you want to keep two copies of the image though. One with the layers and one without that you can share. Thank you for supporting Seashore. I look forward to my other videos soon. Thank you.